Welcome to Jurgen's Journeys. Please like, share, and subscribe. Today on Jurgen's Journeys, I want to show you the why and how to replace your LP gas detector in your RV. First of all, let me show you the why. Now, I have a seven-year-old trailer. Uh, these detectors are only made to last about five to seven years. My detector has just started blinking instead of showing a solid green light. So, just to make sure, I'm going to take a propane torch, turn it on without lighting it, and hold it near the detector. Nothing happens. Now this is a serious matter because this is a, uh, a life and death uh, thing. We use a lot of propane. We use it in our stove. We use it in our refrigerator. It runs the heating system. We have a buddy heater which runs on propane. So uh, it's common for us to have propane on in the camper. So you never want to be without a detector. Because the propane is heavier than air, it'll go down to, to the floor. You won't even smell it at first. But the detector, which is located near the floor, will pick it up. And uh, that's very important. Now, a lot of the detectors, like the one that I have, the Atwood, has a little button on it that you can push. And it will show you uh, whether or not the detector is making a sound, if it's capable of sounding an alarm. So to check it is very simple. Even though they have a button on them, that little button uh, only tells you if the audible sound portion of that detector is working. If it can actually, you know, make an alarm. That's what that button's for. But it doesn't tell you if the detector itself is working. So that's why you need to take some a butane lighter or a propane torch or something. Put a little gas to it. And without the flame and let it see if, see if the uh, detector will go off. Now that's the, the why. Why you need to replace a detector. If it's not working properly or if it's getting old, you need to replace that thing. Now as to the how, this isn't rocket science. It's, it's really not complicated. Uh, first, you, know, you have to order a replacement. Now I did. When my first replacement came, I checked the date on it, and it was almost as old as my trailer. So I sent it back. So the next one I got had the exact same date on it. Sent it back. I looked around at a local RV dealer found one that had a, about a year old date on it, a little over a year. It was a different brand and I stuck it in. That didn't work either. It was expired. So I had to go. This is my fourth one now. It's going to be all right. But at the price they charge for these things, you want to make sure you have a fresh one. So check the date before you go any further to install it. Now here are some of the tools that I'm going to need to do this project. I need a fuse puller, or ah, fingers will do. Uh, you need a screwdriver. Uh, you need a pair of pliers, wire strippers, and uh, some couple of wire nuts. So that's really all you need to get started. So let's begin. First, we're going to go to the breaker panel on the trailer. Mine's just a little pop out cover, uh, reach in there and locate the proper fuse. Mine's labeled very clearly. It shows which is the LP detector. It's a one amp fuse and I just 
pull that little sucker out. Next, let's lift the detector off the wall bracket. Now, I'm going to have to take the back plate off in order to pull the wires on out so that I can access the wire nuts where the connection is made. Once I've done that, I pull the wire out. Then be careful to notice which side is black and which side is red. You might want to label those before you cut it. But anyway, you cut that off. Strip the wire. And then put the wire nuts back on the new one. making sure that you don't get those wires switched. Then you put it back in. Just screw the unit back on. And go back to your breaker panel. Push your fuse back in. And uh, we're ready to check it out. Don't assume that a brand new detector works. Check the audible sound tester. Well, that beeps good and loud. Now, Take that propane torch or a butane lighter, hold it over near it, and give it some gas. Now, that's what we're looking for. So, job is done. I feel safer already. Now, I don't have to worry about sleeping in here and being overcome by fumes. We've got a good propane detector. Now, how hard was that? I mean, hey, your dog could do that if he had thumbs. So uh, I hope that uh, this will inspire you to check and recheck your LP detector for your own safety. So as always, may all your journeys be safe and may God bless you.